Hey, how's it going, uh, YouTube viewers? Um, back again today. I want to discuss a little bit about um, getting into a partnership uh, when it comes to, you know, building your own um, fragrance business or any business for that matter. And uh, I've had some experiences in the past uh, with dealing with partnerships. And uh, there are some pros to part doing a partnership, and there are also cons to that. In my opinion, in my honest opinion, and um, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, you know, probably, you know, the exception to the rule. But the way I see a partnership, you know, when you're getting started in this business, uh, is you know, if you're really kind of like don't have any kind of startup money kind of like maybe desperate you know then I, I see partnership as something that is could be valuable and useful you know but you know if you're the type that you've already got the money you know you got a couple hundred bucks in your pocket you don't really need anyone you know and I'm just from the things that I've seen and I've seen guys go into partnerships um, you know uh, with with uh, the fragrance business and then ended up just you know just being ended up in, in, in two parties both being uh, uh, you know splitting ways um, um, you know with a little bit of bitterness and whatnot and um, you know or somebody you know will end up being greedier than the other person you know and that's just that's just how it always is um, you know when I was in the supplement business I talked to one guy, this guy had uh, actually, you know, started, whoops, uh, this guy actually was running a multi-million dollar, um, you know, dietary supplement franchise. And, um, you know, when I was talking to him, when I was talking to him, you know, he had, his, his franchise had dwindled down all the way down to like one store. And then from that one store down to nothing. Um, and prior to that, I mean, the guy was like, you know, um, just had multiple stores across the country that he was franchising out. But at the end of the day, what ended up happening is, is, is you know, people started getting greedy, partners started getting greedy, and um, that's pretty much what ended up causing the downfall of this franchise. Um, now, you know, like I said before, if you're gonna do something like a partnership is just from my personal experience is do it if you really starting on the shoe string shoe string uh, if you just really really have to you know I, I, I've done you know partnerships in the past with me being in the supplement business and it's, it's good like I said if you don't have that much startup money you know you it, it, the way I see a partnership is kind of like a crutch you know you use it use it as, 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 as either something to um, you know get up on your feet until you can you know move on move on your way um, or you know if you're the type that you've already got a business running and um, you know you, you just want some extra money on the side you know that needs to be like one of the stipulations with uh, your partner is okay well I'm doing this as a side thing you know you know um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll help you run it or you run it while I'm funding the money or you're funding me the money. Uh, but then, you know, once this business grows to a certain uh, level, then, you know, I want to, I want to, um, you know, maybe split ways and do whatever I want, you know, or as they say, you know, some, some, um, you know, like, like franchisees, they might do something like what they call a no compete, you know, where the person, when they go off, they can't compete, you know, with that company for about a year or so, right? So all of this stuff needs to be um, in writing, and otherwise, if you don't have stuff in writing with your partner or partners, um, you're gonna run into some serious problems, you know? You could run into lawsuits, you could run into, you know, fights, you know, you could run into like, you know, maybe that person was your best friend, for years and all of a sudden now this person is your worst enemy you know um, so another thing is too is you know, uh, you know if you really 
are coming into a partnership. You know, like I said, all those things need to be discussed that it might be a short term thing until you get enough money to, to, to just run off and do your own thing that you don't want to be married forever in terms of like the business, right? Or, <coughs> or you know, uh, uh, if you're gonna go into a partnership, you know, make sure that it's in writing and in agreement that, um, you know, here's, here's what I'm gonna make, here's what I'm gonna, you know, uh, invest back into the business, here's what you're gonna invest back into the business and make sure you get, you know, this thing, make sure you get the agreement, uh, get witnesses, um, you know, that are watching you sign this agreement, you know, get it documented, get it, you know, uh, notarized, whatever you gotta do, you know, to protect yourself. Uh, because, trust me, when people get greedy, when people see dollar signs, you know, those look like, they, in the cartoons, they have like those little dollars that show up in their eyes, you know? <laughs> people will do anything. They'll go from being your best friend one day, or partner one day, to lying to you the next day. Uh, so you really don't trust anyone, ever, when it comes to business. Never, ever trust anyone. I don't care who they are. You know, trust is something that should be there to some extent, but you still need to protect yourself at the end of the day. That's just the way it is in the country that we live in. You know, people, people, don't, people don't fear God. They don't fear punishment. So, you have to, you know, use the laws to protect yourself in this country, uh, you know, in, in order to, to, to do business. Um, so, that's something that, you know, you know, you need to look at when you're getting into a partnership. But my recommendation is, you know, the way I've always been was, you know, even if I have to start with 50 bucks in my pocket, I'd rather be independent than partner up with somebody um, that you don't really know what the history is going to look like later on uh, uh, when it comes down to business decisions, you know, when the business gets bigger, how are they going to, how are they going to act, what are they going to do, you know, you're talking about, you know, if you're partnering up with someone, uh, um, you know, I mean, you might get to the point where you're dealing with thousands of dollars and part of that money is yours and maybe it's cash and all of a sudden now, here it is, maybe your partner is having, you know, money problems, debt problems, and all of a sudden they end up taking off or a large chunk of your money. You know, like you hear these stories all the time. So that's the thing about a partnership, you know, it should be something that, you know, like the way I see it is like, it's the only way I would get into a partnership is if I was just like rolling in a ton of money and I was just able to throw some money at something and take that risk, you know, and, and if I lost it, then okay, well, that was play around money anyways. So I don't really feel like I'm, I'm losing much. Uh, but if it's something that you feel like your income is gonna be relying on that to feed you and your family, you really need to take a serious look at doing a partnership and what, what it entails. Because um, there are a lot more risks involved when it comes to uh, getting involved in a partnership as opposed to a sole proprietorship. Another thing is, you know, you have what's called, uh, you know, when you go into business, you know, you start growing your business and and all of a sudden, here it is, you're out of, you're out of, in a position where you don't really feel like you even need a partnership. I mean, you're already independent, you're already making enough money, you're already covering all your old bills, you're saving money, you're building the business. You will actually have some people, from my experience, that will come along and say, hey, let's be a, let's partner up. Well, you need, like, my thing is like, why partner up? I mean, I already got it. I don't need a partner, you know? I mean, sometimes people will come uh, and be, try to become your partner, you know, simply because they kind of want to piggyback on your success. And that that's, that's a big red flag for me, you know? Uh, uh, if somebody's like trying to come and Hey, let's be partners. Well, what? So you can you can you can take a, a portion of all of, of the efforts that I've already been making for all these years. No thanks. So, so those that's something you need to look at. Is like you know people always want to be your partner too. You know at times when when uh, 
they've already seen that you're already, I mean, your business is already successful. Like, that's, that's, uh, to me, that's, I don't see that as something that I would ever do, you know? I'm already, I'm already doing well with it. Why do I need you now, you know? Um, so that's what I'm saying is if you're gonna do the partnership, get in early, you know, while your business is young, you know, and make sure you have all, everything in agreement with your partner that, hey, listen, this is gonna be a short-term thing or a long-term thing, and have it in writing, have it notarized, have, have an attorney look over it, do whatever you have to do to make sure you protect yourself. Okay, so, um, but other than that, I mean, I highly, highly recommend, and I always recommend, you know, to try to be as independent as you can, even if you're starting on a shoestring. Always try to, you know, uh, 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 you know, do that business on your own. Try not to get into loans because like even loans, like money loans, that in a way is a partnership. Except, you know, if you're dealing with a bank and your business fails, they could, they could care less if your business fails. They're gonna take off, you know, and if you got a loan with interest and everything, you still owe them at the end of the day, which means that you become their financial slave. So that's another thing that I've mentioned in some of my past videos is, you know, stay away from loans if you can. Like don't, don't, don't get into loans, especially loans with interest where you'll end up becoming an economic financial slave. Uh, and this is all my tips for the day, all my advice for the day. Um, take care and, uh, and check back again. Don't forget to sign up to my newsletter, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Take care.